This conglomeration has to go. What do you have? A goat. I have a chicken to show to you. Ooh, what are you gonna do? To show uh, the parts and how to show one. Let's do it. Tell me what you got. Put the, your finger in front and make sure they blink. Add abdomen. If this was a girl, there would be no. We could tell how many, if it was laying eggs or no. I am so overwhelmed. Faith can't help but be in the middle of everything and I accidentally dumped a shovel full on her. Sorry, Faith, I didn't mean to. But you are in the way a lot, you know? You really are. You spend most of your time in the way. Mm-hmm. So I'm not surprised your head is full of a mess. You all think I got a treat? No treats. No, there's nothing in there. Yes. Want to ride? There's nothing in there, Oakum. You all think we have treats? No treats. This, my friends, is my supervisor, Faith. She just laid down right in the middle of the way. That's a goat for you. Faith, you don't just lay down right when we're working, and especially in the walkway. She doesn't care. Faith. All of that, one wheelbarrow at a time, one pitchfork at a time, and it's done. Like, all done. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so excited it's done. And now we can move on to what I've been wanting to move on to. Now that this is clean, I can get the project started that I really want to do. That's coming up next. Decisions like this stress me out so much. I got to decide where the holes are going to go for my wall here. That's going to be my three different stalls for kidding season and for weaning the babies so that at night I can put them in and in the mornings milk the mamas and all of that be good. It's been really hard this year and I haven't even started milking yet. Can you believe that? It's been four months since I've milked my goats. I got to get this figured out. And so my plan is this, there's going to be three stalls behind me. So when the mamas are ready to kid, they'll each go in their own stall. They'll have their couple days in the stall with their babies. And then I'm also going to make it where there's a little kid door where just the kids can go inside the stalls and not the mamas so that there's a safe place, especially if it's cold and I have a heat lamp, that the mamas or the older goats aren't stealing that heat from the kids. So they'll be able to get in and out without the mamas being able to get in and out. And then I will use it for the babies to go to bed at night and the mamas can still have this front area. The boys <laughs> need to be put in there and completely weaned altogether. Uh, we need to get them separated. I, I want to keep some as an option for somebody to buy as a actual buck. And then I do know that there are the, the handful that I, I want, I will be, um, I will be castrating them and I got a Berdizzo. So that'll be a new thing that will be coming up as well uh, because I'm gonna be trying that out for the first time this year. So they've all just come in and are looking at me. I gotta get this going because Bill's gonna come in here like a tornado and wanna know where my holes are gonna be. So I need to get this figured out before he comes in frustrated.
My supervisor was here, Faith. This is how I have it laid out. There'll be a wall here, a door here, a door here, a wall there, a door right between there, and then the wall. And I'll take this gate out here. That gate is gone. So there'll be uh, the first pin here, second pin here, and then I'm standing in the third pin here. Here he comes. It's going to save the day. So excited. Hold on, that's what I'm done. Oh, my hand was slipped clear down there and I was trying to get a hold of the trigger here. I don't know if it's very user friendly. Ouch! <laughs> Children, don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, wait, we are at home. <laughs> Supervisor, what do you think, Faith? How's it looking? Am I doing a good job? What do you think? What's going on? Yeah? Hmm. Do we pass inspection? Is the lumber quality okay? Hopefully she approves. Oh, yeah, a little bit of scratch. Test it out. One more, Faith. Wow, that changes it in here. I had a herd of stampeding goats every time I brought one of these in. Pretty scary. <laughs> this changes it a lot, doesn't it? It looks so different already. It's that scary moment where I'm like, oh, I hope this turns out okay. So it took about oh, almost four minutes to dig each hole. And it probably took just as long or longer to drag all these in here. <laughs> and now, got to figure out, and now I got to figure out how to get them all straight. That's a big challenge. <laughs> all right, I got them all in. How's it look? I think they're even kind of straight. The, the lengths or the heights of them are off a bit. I just got these. These are just already used posts. But we can fix that and cut off the tops to make them even. I think I'm going to need to tamp them a bit more, but I wanted to make sure they were in the right spot and, and all uh, straight and everything. So. Now we got to figure out what to do. We are going to make it so they're solid. So that between the stalls they're solid because when you have does and be uh, in like on even um across the fence on this side, you know, anytime there's another doe that's in labor or has new babies, they're going to be fighting with the goats on the other side and that's frustrating. So we're going to do a solid wall between everything and uh, that'll prevent that hopefully. <laughs> Make it tall enough so they can't jump over. What do you have? Oh, it's cheaper. Oh, it's cheaper. Oh, it's cheaper. So we took your advice. We're at the fairgrounds with the goats to practice. I'm not sure how well it's going though. 
On Instagram, I had posted a story a while back of how our training was going with our goats to get ready for the fair. And a lot of you had really good advice on that. And one of them was, you got to get away from their <laughs> regular like home environment and just mm. away from the other goats so you can practice with them. And so we decided to come yeah. to the fairgrounds. And so far tonight, mm. we've had uh, quite the session. <laughs> Delight here is a big goat and she's strong. She has been shown before and I thought maybe that was a good idea to have her come and be used because she's had experience in that. But she's really strong and pushy. And so <laughs> Josiah had a has had a moment with her. How's Oakum doing? Good. She, so he's decided to use Oakum here uh, for his younger goat. And she's just much smaller, so mm -hmm. he can uh, he can help he can guide her much easier than Delight here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> And Hadassah here has dance. How is dance doing? Good. Yeah? She's kind of running. Is she? <laughs> Are you running, dance? What do you think She's of this? She's trying to go ahead of me. Yeah, you gotta work on these as training moments. Hey. I'm cutting the plywood for inside the goat barn here and my supervisor is here making sure I'm doing it correctly. So thank you Faith for supervising so well. I'm serious. Getting set up to do a project and getting all of the tools necessary to even start takes just as long as projects themselves. <sighs> You know what's crazy? The only thing I can think of while I'm working on this is imagining this winter all the chickens that are out roosting on this and pooping down the sides. Uh, there's always a fixing of a problem that creates a new problem. I'm so sentimental, it's crazy. <laughs> so right over here, it's a poop. A poop mark from who knows how long ago. Like, that's a cow. And we've never had cows here. And when I bought this place, this barn was completely full of stuff. Like, so much stuff. That wasn't even mine that I had to clean out of here. And it had been like that for so long. And I don't know how, how long that's been in here. And then over here... There is this uh, cool little, where they, they used to tie up their cows. So it's a little, you slip the rope through and, and tie up your cow. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to take that down to put up this wall here. <laughs> and that makes me sad for some reason. I've never used it. And I guess I'll, I'll put it in a different spot in case I have to tie up a goat or something. But it's a cool little, I don't know, it's just a cool little thing that they they made and, or maybe they bought, I don't know. And it's been here for who knows how long. You know, if these barns could tell their stories, I would be all over that. I would love to hear the story of this barn. When it was built, what they first, what first lived in here, what they, what they milked in here, how, what, you know, just all the stories. I would love to to hear all that. Story continues though.
I got a door. Yay, look at that. So it opens all the way up. So when we're not kidding and the goats are just in here like throughout the winter, this will just stay open uh, and all the way back out of the way when we're needing it. It'll provide the goats with some privacy so they can't be fighting um, over the fence. Hopefully, I, I made it come in so that it opens inward with the thought that it kind of can be out of the way when we're not using it. But hopefully when there's a goat in here in labor, opening this door, we can slip in and out without any problems with a goat in labor. We'll have to see how that works. It's getting exciting. So um, I need to get the pen next door. Just make sure that the boy goats can't get out and I need to wean the boys. And I'm dreading that. Honestly, I'm dreading it. It is so much easier for, it, it's so much easier to wean when they're taken to their new home. And I have been so behind and not getting done everything that I need to get done that I haven't put them online yet to sell. I've had some calls and I've sold a couple just from people coming in just saying, hey, I want to come look at them. And then they bought some. Uh, and I don't know, it's just one of those years. So I need to get them weaned. Um, and there, there's, it's going to be a ruckus. That's sad. So I should probably then be, be ready for tomorrow morning then to wean them in the morning so that they can do their crying in the daytime as opposed to at night when people are trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, and hopefully it works and hopefully they, hopefully they don't escape and all of that, but it's time. That's the next project is to get my milking area spiffed up. Need to get that area completely cleaned up and top to bottom cleaned and, and set up nicely and, and then we can start milking. So that's coming up. Since the stalls are put in, do you have any thoughts? Would you like to share anything? Do you have any opinion about this? You like it? You like the new stalls? Any opinions? You're a good girl. What do you think, Skibbity? Do you like the new stall? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Is that your stall? Mm -hmm. Is that your place? Oh, yeah. Check, check that one out. Good. 